so this is just a this is a totally improv scene mm -hmm. um, with uh, with Cynthia. So basically, uh, this is kind of the argument every couple hours on vacation where you want to go horseback riding and she just wants to sit in the room and hang out. And she's kind of used to getting her way with her previous boyfriend. Um, but you're not going to, it's very nice and very passive aggressive, but you're not going to give any ground. You want to go horseback riding. And it can kind of conclude with you being like, fine, I'll just go by myself. And then her being offended that you would leave her alone. Mm. Does that make sense? Yes. <coughs> oh. mm. You're right. Yeah, I'm just stretching. Mm. Why? Well, how long do you want to be? How long do I want to be? Yeah, I mean, I just sort of wonder, like, when someone's sort of stretching, I think, well, what are you trying to achieve? You know, like, where are you trying to go? Like, will you not rest till you're nine foot tall? No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfectly proportioned. Just stay like that. So, I'll tell you what that is. I'll tell you what you're stretching. What? Boredom. Boredom? You've got nothing else to do. You're stretching. I have thinking, you. Oh, yeah, I know, I'm great company, but listen, I've just had a really good idea. What's that? Right, you know the relationship that's always existed between man and beast for time immemorial. We've been enchanted, haven't we, by animals? We got a little bit distracted from our ancient past, that we got a little bit caught up, overly civilized. Look at this hotel. Look at us. We're trapped. It's a beautiful prison, aren't we? We're in, look, look at this place. I'm very beautiful. Happy here. Yeah, I like it. It's like prison. It's, yeah, it's a beautiful gilded cage. This is a gilded cage. Do you know what we need to do? What's that? Get back in touch with nature. I'm going to do something now that's going to surprise you. Tell me what it makes you think of. <laughs> What does that make me think of? I don't want to do that. Oh, no, I don't want you to do it. I don't want you to do it. That would be unsettling. I don't know what orifice you'd use. This is what I want to do. I want, let's go let's go horseback. It's interesting you should mention horseback riding because I'd mm. like to do that. Horses, imagine it. The equine beauty. You and I upon horses. Noble. Mm? <laughs> What about it? It's very tempting. Like, it is tempting. I'm Give in to temptation, because like, if you don't, what are you going to do? Sit here and fester in this hotel room, glorious though it may be, the air conditioning is something we'll go to the next year. Do a fester. <laughs> no, I was thinking maybe room service. Mm, don't do that. A lot of people think that room service is the ultimate aim of life, and that's what you're always heading towards, just trying to get room service. Oh, <laughs> God, I've achieved something. But what are you going to do? Sit there, eat something, and then that's it. It's over. You're not going to look, when you look back at your life, right, you're not going to go, curse the day I went all Horse riding with that glamorous young man. Oh, you? it's going to be a good experience. You're not going to regret it. Glamour. Are you? I have an element of glamour. Glamour. Yeah. <laughs> an element of glamour. Don't ignore the glamour. I shine my glamour. You do. I don't think so. Yeah, I think so. Listen, your glamour is unassailable. No one's questioning your glamour. You're a beautiful, glamorous woman. I think you have got more glamorous though. On the back of an horse. Yeah. Oh, see, have you heard the story of Lady Godiva? She was, yes. an, she was an English woman. She rode nude on horseback. You could just stay here and entertain me like this. I don't think I could do it. You don't? No, you're I, feel, doing I well. feel like Nelson yeah, Mandela, honestly. I feel like I'm doing 26 <laughs> years. Yeah, I mean, look, what's the plan? Oh, it's so painful to be here. Why wouldn't we? Why would we stay here? Look at us. There's these limitless options. There's a beautiful world in this beautiful place, and we're sat here doing nothing. It's tedious. I mean, it's awful. Nothing. Yes, the sex was tremendous, but it's not horseback riding, is it? <laughs> for Christ's sake. Open your mind, real wide. Right well, let's combine the two. For Christ's sake, I'm an adventurous <laughs> man. Sex on horseback. Well, you've become jaded. <laughs> you have become jaded. The beginning of the you was exciting. I think on the first day, the first time I met you, if I'd have mentioned horseback riding, you'd have chomped at the bit more than any horse would. <laughs> but look at you now. <laughs> mm? No, it's just I'm very happy here right now. No, it's good. It's good here. Go All right. Yeah, I've got a will. If you, do you want me to go on my own? You're gonna go on your own. Yeah, but I'm not, I'll tell you what, I'm not, like, I'm feeling very vulnerable. If the house, if that horse has got anything about it, if that horse has a glint in its eye, you may never see me again. I may <laughs> just ride off. What would I be able to do if I was there? Well, we'd be together, wouldn't we? It'd be an adventure. The two of us, man and nature combined, instead of us here. Look at us in prisons. Look at these Egyptian sheets. It sickens me. Let's go. <laughs> It's you. I'm sickened by Egyptian sheets. They can't do enough pyramid sphinxes. What do they want? Now sheets. Come on, let's go. <laughs> that was fantastic. That was fantastic. Oh, Thank you. Great Thank job. You. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah.